I'm gonna take you guys through what my sister and myself eat on the carnivore diet. Unfortunately, I got here a little late and my sister being the little piggy that she is already ate breakfast. Uh, I made her some eggs with bacon as well as raw cheese last night. Everything is really high quality. You know, the eggs are from a local farm, pasture raised, soy free. Uh, the bacon was something I made myself from Iberico pork. And the raw cheese is, of course, of high quality from France. You know, very minimal ingredients, uh, just raw cheese, enzymes, cultures, salt, how it's supposed to be. Very healthy, very nutritious. If all you guys have is eggs like that in the morning, you pretty much get all your nutrients for the day. And I think that's a really approachable way uh, to get your family members to eat something healthy that is animal based. Here are actually the ingredients I use to make those eggs. These are the local soy free chicken eggs from the farm. Uh, this is beef bacon that I got from Whole Foods. Usually I use bacon that I made myself though. Uh, this is just a French cheese raw Gruyere. And here I have some raw grass fed butter as well. Uh, as for myself, I've been on a bit of a tartare kick in the morning. Uh, you know, when you consume raw food in the morning, uh, you know, the food doesn't require additional enzymes to digest as it is not cooked. Uh, so it's a bit easier on the stomach. I keep my energy levels high and I have some Iberico pork, as I just mentioned, that is super delicious. Uh, we're gonna have that with some duck eggs. I'll show you guys how I make it. Here is my pork butt, I mean uh, pork tenderloin, a uh, really nice red, uh, this is, again, the Spanish Iberico de Belota pork, the highest quality pork on the planet, fed mostly on acorns in the later part of their life in the forest. And when you smell this, you can literally smell the acorns on the meat. So this part of the animal is the shoulder, and it has a nice bit of marbling in it. Uh, this type of Iberico pork, if there's no fat, you don't really get a lot of flavor, so I want to make sure there's some fat in it. For any of you guys that saw my steak tartare video, you'll know how I do this. I take strips of the meat, I place them on top of each other. I press it down and then I'll slice it horizontally and then vertically. We do have this available on Frankie's Syringe Meat at the moment if you guys want to check it out. So now what I'll do is I'll salt it. Bit of salt on top. I'm gonna mix it up. And then this is gonna sit for about an hour before I eat it. These eggs are also gonna sit out both at room temperature. You don't wanna really eat this cold. It's much more enjoyable when it's warmer. Everything is nice and warm at room temperature. Today we have the duck eggs. I'm gonna do eight egg yolks. Usually I save the whites for my family or I just throw them out. You know, most of the nutrition is in the yolk and the white can be inflammatory to some people because of the lysosome, because it binds to biotin. Nice orange, deep colored yolks. Okay, so from a nutrient perspective, the egg yolks are where we really shine. Uh, oh, this is actually my mother's medication. You know, uh, for those of you guys that didn't see my mother's health story, uh, you know, she's a double kidney transplant patient, had a stroke a bunch of years ago. Unfortunately, she has to take about 10 medications every day. So what are you gonna do? Uh, but the egg yolks have all of the fat soluble vitamins. I, I think eggs are probably one of the most nutritious foods in general. The only downside is they don't have an incredible amount of iron, but Eggs are unique because not only do they have all the fat soluble vitamins, you know, which something like dairy does, eggs have the preformed versions of EPA and DHA, whereas dairy has the plant form that's not really converted in the body. Uh, Matt Monarch made a video the other day saying he ate eggs and fish and it felt like his brain rebooted, but he was drinking goat milk like all day before and he didn't feel as good. So there's definitely a need to get you know, nutrients from fish or eggs in the diet. The only reason you can't really use egg yolks as your only source of omega-3s is because the omega-3 to omega-6 ratio usually isn't ideal due to what the animals are being fed. Uh, the pork here, the Iberico pork, uh, you guys can see it's like as red as beef. It's super nutritious. All of the fat in this pork has all the vitamins as well. Uh, if you didn't have good quality eggs, you could literally just have the pork without the eggs you know, I had sushi last night and like, <laughs> I don't know why I bother going out. This is so much better. Texture wise, it's nice, soft, very creamy. 
My dog egg yolks are so rich. Some of you guys might be wondering, Frank isn't eating raw pork dangerous. Check out my raw meat safety video. Trichinosis is from animals that are being fed garbage. These Iberian pigs were certainly not eating garbage. Any sort of bacteria or parasite issue with meat or animal foods is due to how the animal is being raised. Bacteria develop unnatural strains. Parasites are in environments that are conducive to quick reproduction. Everything gets out of control. As good as this Iberian pork is raw, really delicious when cooked. Incredibly amazing when cooked, really brings out the flavor. One other thing to note is cholesterol in egg yolks. You know, even though cholesterol is high in meat, it's much higher in, in yolks and, and certain organs of fish and animals. And uh, I'll link my why cholesterol is good for you video at the end here, if you guys wanna know more about that. Even though we have this pork on Frankie's free range meat, we don't have eggs, uh, but with your guys' continued support, we will have the only completely grain-free eggs by sometime next year. Uh, that is one of our first goals. And hey, maybe if some rich Jewish girl or boy reaches out to me, uh, we'll have a farm sooner than then. But in the meantime, Frankie boy's doing it himself. And I, I really can't emphasize, the meat literally tastes like acorns. It, it's truly amazing. There's a reason it's the most famous pork in the world. I'm spending so much money on food with this bodybuilding bullshit. Hopefully it pays off in the long run. You know, it's funny because guys think they're going to get so many girls when they start working out. And then all that happens is you have dudes coming up to you in the gym wanting to touch your muscles and hair. I'm going to finish this up and then we'll get my sister, maybe see what she's having for lunch. Uh, she's clonked out from the two glasses of Chardonnay she had last night. Uh, so it's nice and quiet today. <sighs> Little Miss Piggy is suitably dressed in the pink pajamas bite me Gina don't you remember I told you to to not have breakfast do you remember that and then you ate anyway I forgot I had the wine so my brain goes my brain has left Gina you had the wine like 17 hours ago okay so today we're gonna have chocolate pemmican for lunch nice little snack I forgot to get you the meat granola Gina but we're gonna have this instead uh, what did you have the other few days? You had prosciutto and uh, cheese, right? Yes. That you like a lot? The prosciutto's good? Oh. So you, usually for lunch, you have like deli meats and, and cured stuff. That's pretty simple and approachable, yeah. right? So you what think is kids it? would like it, right? Yes. What is this? She's just completely dialed in on what she's about to eat. So this is our chocolate pemmican that we're going to have on Frankie's syringe meat. Uh, probably in a couple days by the end of the week. Oh, is this all for me? No, Jimmy, you're not eating the whole thing, but I'm sure you could. Texture is really smooth, right? Mm-hmm. I told you guys we're gonna do cool stuff. We're making Reese's Pieces peanut butter cups basically from meat and chocolate, but they're good for you. These are really calorically dense. I would estimate, you know, each one of these is at least, you know, 250, 300 calories. Now, again, the ingredients are grass-fed beef, grass-fed beef tallow, and then we use cacao nibs that are melted in. A little bit of honey to sweeten it up, a little bit of salt to season it. I think I'm gonna head to the gym a little earlier than normal today, uh, but before I do so, I'm gonna take out some food so it's nice, warm, room temperature, and ready to cook uh, when I get back. You know, it's a lot more time, a lot more stress, a lot more work, you know, because before I did the bodybuilding stuff, I would, you know, fast for two, three days at a time, but. I gotta really get my calories in every day. Uh, so here I have a bunch of raw dairy, which I've been having from time to time. Usually yogurt and kefir. Uh, I didn't have the yogurt or kefir for breakfast today because I had so much tartare. Uh, maybe I'll have some yogurt later or for a snack. Uh, but today I have some quail and some lamb breast that we can have for dinner. I don't know if I'm gonna have both, but we'll see. I guess I'll just take out the quails for now. I really wanna eat these. Uh, on Frankie's syringe meat, we have whole quails. Uh, these are $13, I believe. And then we have the semi-boneless quails, which are $20. These are a lot easier to cook with. You can just like throw these in the pan and sear them. 
Uh, we'll take, uh, I guess, both out. We'll have two of each. And this is a lamb breast. Uh, this is actually from a baby lamb. Really delicious, really fatty. Uh, it's pretty much the belly and the brisket combined on this lamb. Uh, so maybe we'll have that if we're still hungry later. I should show you guys, there's some rotten beef fat in here from like seven months ago. Maybe we'll try that, I don't know, eventually. All right, so I'm just gonna take out two of each and we'll leave them at room temperature. All right, Gina, now you can enjoy it. Okay. Way to go, I was like, oh, the good dog can do it. All right, Lil. Gina, what are we having for dinner? Turkey. This is the turkey we made for Thanksgiving, if you guys didn't check out that video yet. Mm. What's your favorite part about it? The sauce. So we made a really delicious gravy that was reinforced with a lot of mirepoix, vegetables, seaweed. Uh, pretty nutritious, not really the healthiest food, you know, compared to the other stuff we've been eating today. Uh, but it's definitely not bad for you, and it's a good source of calories. And it fits in with Thanksgiving. As you guys can see, my sister eats three meals per day, but I only eat twice per day. And before I started this bodybuilding nonsense, I was only eating once per day, uh, which was a lot easier. So our second meal is gonna be the quail and the lamb breast uh, that I showed you guys. We're gonna throw both of these under a new broiler I got outside. Uh, that was a birthday present from one of my viewers. And honestly, if I knew how good this thing was, I would have bought it myself. Uh, so we're gonna check that out. Uh, but just so you guys get a closer look at these quails, we have the semi-boneless quails, which have no bones in them besides the wing and the leg. These are really great because you could literally just take this, you know, put it flat down in a pan and sear it and have a meal within, you know, five minutes. And, you know, I was even eating these raw the other day. They're really, really delicious. The bone-in ones, you know, these you kind of have to roast in the oven. Uh, I'm sure you could actually pan sear these too, except instead of, you know, flipping the semi-boneless once, you probably have to flip these, you know, three or four times. I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat all of this lamb breast, uh, but there are two per package, and they're not that big on their own individually. You know, a decent amount of meat. I would say maybe there's like three quarters of a pound of flesh here. There's a very tiny rib cage with some bones here and the breastplate. Uh, but I think the quails and one of these breasts should be plenty. As you guys can see, I have a new grill set up. I found a smoker on Craigslist for 300 bucks and I got this new steel table as well as the boiler. Let me know if you want me to show you guys this. I didn't think it was too interesting, uh, but I guess as a carnivore, some people might be interested. This is the Inferno North Fire broiler. And the reason I like this thing so much is because it heats up in like two minutes flat and it gets a really nice crust on the steak. For those of you guys that saw my Peter Luger style steak video, this is the broiler I was talking about. This thing goes up to 1500 degrees and it's one of the only other flavors I like. You know, I like smoked meat, I like wood fired meat, and I like broiled meat. I don't like pan searing that much. So I'm just gonna turn the gas on so we get this started. This thing can be a little difficult to start See the broilers aren't on right now and the burners aren't on. So the one on the right started, the one on the left didn't start. I like that one manually. It's pretty windy and cold out, but it's only like 45 degrees, so it's not too bad. I think the wind, yeah, the wind is blowing these broilers out. Shit. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna burn my eyebrows off with this shit. God damn it. So if these keep going out, I might have to go inside. Yeah, these keep going out. the wind like the wind will blow one out then the other one will ignite the other one all right so it's only been a minute and it looks like we're hot enough and then it just got blown out again great normally I would say screw it let's just cook these inside but this boiler is so hot these things will only take about a minute to cook so I think I'm just gonna roll with it out here the quail on here I'm just gonna put it in like this Stepped away for like a minute, and these things are burning. So flip these over, put the other side in. And you know, this really, really only takes about 30 seconds for the size of these things to, to get cooked. If I'm doing a steak, 
It's usually like two to three minutes per side is plenty for rare. So if you have a piece of meat that's not too fatty, what I actually do is I take some tallow, which we have on Frankie's free range meat, and I put it on the meat, and, and that tallow will help like flare up to the burners and make it brown better. I think that's good. Now we're gonna do the lamb breast. And this, I wanna keep an eye on because it's really fatty skin. And really, really brown really fast. Lamb is always nice and fatty. It's super easy to work with on a grill or really any heating source. All right, I think that's good. It's unfortunate that most people only have access to grass-fed beef as the food they enjoy eating that's also healthy. Wild-caught fish, eh, I don't even like it myself. Uh, I mean, shellfish is okay, like crab, lobster, but on the expensive side. Uh, stuff like quail, stuff like lamb breast that Ibericol, we showed you guys earlier, is one of our goals with Frankie's Free Range Meat. The ability to not have to worry about the food quality and enjoy yourself. You know, you don't have to sacrifice your omega-3 to omega-6 ratio, you know, to eat some quail. You don't have to break the bank to eat some lamb. You know, this lamb breast is a very affordable cut. But this quail, guys, you know what? The quail is good, I'm gonna save it for last. I'm honestly, I never really liked lamb, but lamb, objectively to me, tastes better than beef. It's like more complex, it's richer, but that actual lamb flavor is what I don't like. Like the fat and all that stuff makes up for it. So we have a piece of the lamb breast with a bit of the crispy skin. Oh my God. <laughs> all right, so I don't really like lamb, but this is a younger lamb and it doesn't really have that lamb flavor at all. Man, that's crazy. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> we only broil this for like a minute or two on each side. Uh, as you guys can see, it's raw in the middle. Uh, lamb is usually red to most people, but since the animal is so young, this is pink on the inside. Again, as with any animal, nutrients are stored in the fat. So just by eating fatty, ruminant, or just high quality pasture raised animal flesh and fat, we're getting everything our body needs. Something that grain fed beef does not have. We'll put this to the side because I really want to eat these quails first. So we'll have the semi-boneless. The semi-boneless is really easy because you just like cut it apart. Uh, as you guys can see, it's right in the middle, raw. This is what, this is what chicken is supposed to taste like. And you actually have to kind of eat these with your hands to get all the meat off. And the first time I had these, which was like uh, two or three weeks ago. <laughs> I literally ate like eight of them at once. Pan seared in butter. So good. Even without salt on this one, holy shit. It's so good. So that was the semi boneless one. And I'll see how I can eat the bone in. Oh, you're a carnivore. Why are you using a knife and fork? That's like all the comments I read on these vegans who make fun of me. Like, no, I don't have to use a knife and fork, but it's not that civilized and it's messy. But you as a vegan have to use a blender. No salt over the fire. Mostly raw meat. So the semi-boneless is quite a bit easier to get the meat off of, but not like to a crazy extent. So I'm gonna finish this quail. I'll save this lamb for tomorrow with the other breast. Maybe I'll have a little bit of sheep yogurt later. I don't think so, uh, I'm really full. Uh, but we got all the nutrients that our body needs for today. 
largely thanks to those duck egg yolks. You know, incredibly high in vitamin A, all the fat type of vitamins, omega-3 fatty acids. If we didn't have those duck egg yolks, maybe we would have had some liver, maybe a little bit of fish here and there, but egg yolks make it super approachable and easy. Protein content, incredibly high. You know, obviously conducive to bodybuilding. Cholesterol content, very high. Great for hormones, great for just, you know, feeling good, liver function. So many things cholesterol is important for. Most of this stuff is available on Frankie's free range meat, or hopefully if you have a grocery store nearby, maybe you're in Europe, that does have access to these foods like quail and Iberico or higher quality pasture raised pork. It encourages you to try them. I've gotten quite a bit of emails lately about how local farmers keep ripping people off for pricing and I've never seen a local farmer that does have reasonable pricing. Uh, so hopefully, you know, two, three, four years from now, Frankie the farmer is selling you guys meat at a reasonable price as well. Uh, you know, this is what, essentially what I've really wanted to do in my life. I've, I've always said I've wanted to improve the health of people. I want to make people happy and healthy and feel better. And as odd as that sounds, being a farmer is a big part of that. Being able to, to grow the nourishing food uh, that we need to heal our bodies is, is the most important thing. So thank you guys for joining me. Let me know what other types of days of eating or what I eat in a day you'd like to see in the future. Uh, maybe we'll go completely raw, even though all this meat is pretty much raw. It's just seared on the outside uh, for a little bit of flavor. Uh, I've talked about this in the past. I don't see the point of eating the meat like 100% raw if 97% raw tastes, you know, 10 times better. It really helps the adherence to the raw aspect when you have just a little bit of sear on the outside. Uh, please guys, like the video, you know, share it if you can. Uh, subscribe if you haven't, definitely hit that bell icon. As I mentioned, Frankie's free range meat, high quality nutrient dense animal foods made affordable. You can also go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Thanks again for joining me guys and enjoy the rest of your week. Man, I keep calling my I keep calling my sister a piggy. I'm a I'm a piggy myself.